Um, so today is the day that I can finally get a really, really good sunset. I've been trying to get a good sunset for the last like four days. Yeah, I will show you guys around. I'll show you the view. So I found camp at a really, really cool um, casino. I usually don't like coming to casinos because security is always here, but it looks like this is one where they're totally fine with you parking here. All my music comes from music bed. So I don't see why you would unless you do YouTube, but there's a uh, link below if you guys want to use it. Trying to find some songs is I think the hardest part in editing videos. Parks and Rec Community Center down the street literally five minutes down i think i'm gonna go there um probably get a quick workout in and then get a legitimate shower and then we'll start the day I drove maybe like 30 minutes down the road. Could be 40 minutes, but just needed a change of scenery and uh, wanted to drive just to recharge the EcoFlow. Not a bad view to work out of the rest of the day. All right, so just to give you guys an update, I'm at Devil's Punch Bowl and kind of halfway through the Oregon coast. And then, uh, so yeah, this hits pretty much the halfway point. This parking lot is super full, so hopefully I can get something like right next to the punch bowl. As much as I wanted to stay at Devil's Punch Bowl, way too early to be staying there. It, it just hit five o'clock and I don't think I want to sit there for two hours for sunset, especially at that small parking lot. So I'm gonna continue down. There's uh, a lot of other places to see, but that is one of the better spots in my opinion to go see the sunset. Um, but Newport is, I don't know, like 30 minutes down the road, not even, maybe 15. Continue making my way down the coast, just uh, finding random things, so. Um, once I get to Newport, I think I'm going to sit back and relax a little bit, try to find something to do, and uh, yeah, be a tourist. Newport seems like a fun place to hang out on the weekend. Yeah, great stroll around downtown. There was a lot of cool shops there. Still making my way down the coast. This is probably one of my next favorite spots is Cape Per... I can't even pronounce it, Perpetual. All I know is that there's Thor's Well down there and it's a crazy phenomenon that happens. It's basically a sinkhole. The water comes in, pushes the water up, and then falls back down. It's a cool spot for photos. If you do long exposures, you can actually get a cool silky photo of the water draining into the uh, well. Um, so today is the day that I can finally get a really, really good sunset. I've been trying to get a good sunset for the last like four days. that I found was taken, which 
I kind of was expecting kind of not really because um, well it's Thursday going to Friday and I'm starting to see an uptick of a lot of people on the coast like the spot that I was at Thor's well there was a ton of people there and I think it's gonna get even more busier on the weekends I am also noticing that all the camp grounds that like paid campgrounds are all full too but gorgeous sunset though and that's actually what I wanted I wanted to see the sunset after four or five days without seeing one amazing view though love the drive kind of why you uh, come to the coast is because the drives are like this you get to see water all day super chill Anyways, I can talk so much more about it and everything, but I gotta find a place to sleep. I just met a dude that has the uh, Starlink Gen 2 or Gen 1. It's the, uh, he said he had it for about two years and um, yeah, he was, uh, we were just talking about it, but I'm over at one of the lighthouses and he said that there is no overnight parking sign. So I think the worst thing that they can do is kick me and that dude out. So I'll just risk it. And if also, if there's no overnight parking sign, I mean, there's no reason for us to get kicked out anyway. So um, yeah, I mean, this is a hell of a spot. I'm very excited to see what it's like in the morning, especially for sunrise, because you're literally across the water. It's a viewpoint and the lighthouse is right across the street. So. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. The uh, guy I was talking about yesterday is actually parked right there and you probably can't tell but he's got the uh, Starlink, the very first generation Starlink up there. Not a bad view to wake up to though. So I'm going to really have to utilize the alternator charger. I'm sitting at 41%. I'm going to make a push to Coos Bay because there's a plant fitness there and I want to use their showers. So I'll see you guys there. Kind of close to the campsite or the camp spot that I found. It's a little concerning on how hard it's raining, but we'll see. This spot is promising. I don't see anybody up there, so. But yeah, let's check it out. I'll show you guys the spot. Holy crap, it's raining like crazy. Um, and it's windy. But it's a giant open view of this whole valley. And uh, yeah, probably can't be outside too long. Uh, I'm gonna hang out here probably finish up editing this video that you're watching right now and then we'll go from there. the edit has been completed anyways it's the next morning i will show you guys around but here's the uh spot yeah really cool open spot you can actually see the ocean over there um the road to get here is right down here don't mind the awning sagging i opened it up last night and i'm just like letting the water drain I think this is probably one of the better spots to do any dispersed camping when you're like near the coast. Fortunately, this is about an hour away from Brookings, so if you're coming down from Portland, really, really far. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think that's gonna wrap up the video. I'ma finish eating, I'ma pack up everything. In the next video, I think I'ma wrap up the entire coast. Uh, I'm pretty much home stretch right now. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, I always appreciate it. Take care.